We've made it to the year 1955, where the general belief is that everything that will be invented has been invented. So with that in mind, the Royal Miles go to redesign their entrance, and this announcer is taking his birthday off. Um, has the Thuzi been invented yet? Oh yes, the sweet smell of 1955 and you can almost see the steel coasters coming over the hill. But guys, we've got a slight problem and I'm amazed you guys haven't told me about this one yet. Our entrance area is no longer fit for purpose and the car is now king and our car park is tiny and woefully inadequate. And yes, I am the expert on tiny, woefully inadequate things. We've also got no maintenance area for the maintenance guys to do their magic and we need to fix this up before we can expand into the big attractions of the 60s. It's also my birthday week, by the way, so I'm having a week off. This is going to be another one of those short episodes where we just do one montage cut to it being finished at the end and you can guys can have the week off <laughs> so this is what we're planning so far you can see i'm already tearing this apart uh this is our little entrance area we had before look it's so cute and so tiny <laughs> but we need to beef this out and this is the blueprint for what i think is going to be the new entrance area taking some inspiration from pleasure land and how that entrance looked in the like late 50s early 60s so this is the sort of thing this car park it needs to be moved and you can probably spot where it's going to be going to because these cars will all be disappearing and we're all going to be going into our brand new bigger car park that's going to be in this area here so for that reason we need to transport guests to and from this new car park and that's where we've got this little bus system going on now what i've done is uh I, well i this bit needs sorting out because i don't know if i'm going to change the terrain and stuff or whether i need to put make the buses conform anyway what i've done is i have put this underneath the path so it actually looks like they're driving on the road and now what i need to do is just make the road actually make sense so this is what i started to do here with the roundabout uh, and then over this way i have then just put in uh, the area that they were going to come in and drop guests off i'm not entirely keen on the fact that they have to loop around themselves and cross the guest path in 2023 you wouldn't do that you would find a way of doing it the other way around uh, but this is 1955 and this is perfectly acceptable safety is not a thing yet uh, <laughs> and then up on the hill uh, i've just started to place out where i kind of want the maintenance area uh, if you remember back to the original i actually started to put the road in here this was like almost put in purpose so the road is going to join up with the buses this bit's an accident by the way but it's going to join up with the buses and it'll come up the hill and then it'll come up to the maintenance area here so this is where we are at i don't think i need to introduce this anymore because you want to see it done right and i want to get on with my birthday 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 <laughs>
guys, this entrance has got no business looking this good. I mean, I have to say, this is probably my favourite entrance I have ever done. I'm definitely channeling my inner Wix here because his builds are absolutely stunning and I wanted to think to myself, how can I truly test the boundaries of what I can build? And I am so chuffed with how this has turned out. And by the way, it's 1955. Disneyland's just opened. We should probably make an effort with our entrances. I had originally had all of these plans of really simple entrances that complemented the original, but actually I thought, no, we're going to go gonna go grand. And actually, this does scream 1955 neoclassical uh, architecture with a little bit of Art Deco thrown in to complement the Lido, and this is what I've come up with. Oh, I love it so much. It's going to be a really hard video to edit, though, because there's going to be so much rejected footage of so many different shapes and sizes and styles of an entrance, but this is what I've got. So let's unpack all of this then, shall we? Because I can't gush over it in its entirety because there's more to it. Look, what's going on? We're a theme park now. It's This is, apart from the graveyard down here, but we're a theme park now. This is mad. So we are going to start in the entrance because, of course, you've uh, already seen it. And I started to put in the idea of the buses. Now, these did have shelters. It had buildings. It didn't have buildings. I've taken it away. I've actually ended up uh, doing some really boring searches like my ads on Google are just going to be I, can't, I don't even want to know what ads I'm going to get because uh, it's going to be dodgy but like looking up <laughs> 1950s factories and 1950s car parks what adverts do you serve to someone that's having those kinds of searches on google uh, <laughs> i don't even want to know <laughs> but what i've done is i've put a concrete pad down uh because this is all this would be for now and i've just put some flowers and stuff around just to make it uh, make it obvious but yeah this is the main the main trains transport hub from the car park get on a bus we'll have to forgive the fact that the buses look a little bit modern they're not very 1950s is all we got in game right so pure just have a day off I don't care uh, and then I've put the the access road down this way and then uh, it comes out here now I'm in two minds about tarmac here because when I do all of my research anything that's off of a main road probably wouldn't have been tarmac it would have been dirt and that's because of the post-war effort you know the tarmac was being used to rebuild roads and stuff uh, as opposed to building in private property but I couldn't do dirt here because I needed uh, the tarmac pathway and stuff to make all of this work so i've just put tarmac it's done same with uh, road markings right i've done all of the roads along here and i've made this as close to uh 1950s as i possibly can so for example this sign style is the uk 1950s road style and road markings don't exist yet they don't happen for another 10 or so years so when i'm doing this it feels like like <laughs> sorry i'm laughing because the buses just plow through the people and it's quite funny uh there's just no collision detection at all and it's like okay th this is happening make peace with it sorry so let's get back onto topic so the road markings don't happen for about 10 years so when i'm building this and fleshing this out it just doesn't feel like it's real so what i have done though is i put the uh, zebra crossing in with the belisha beacons they are exactly as they would do put in some bollards that is exactly as you'd find in the in the 50s in 1955 and then these are the road signs and stuff that you would find very different to what we've got on our roads uh, today yeah Yes, we do drive on the left in case you didn't know in case you live under a rock um and then this bit here i have also made this as close to 1950s as i can get so like this little uh, arrow sign is slightly different it would actually have the words keep left but you just can't do it the letters just they're just too big uh, so this is as close as you're going to get like with the curbing that's black and white and, and the mini roundabout and stuff so yeah but this is ultimately what i've done as i have put in the mini roundabout here the um the roadway then comes down to here and it just stops and it just opens up into a massive gravel stroke mud stroke grass car park this is all it is in 1915 as i said i have googled so many car parks and even the inner city ones are all dirt or gravel uh, there are tarmac car parks tarmac car, car parks do exist um but they sort of like exist 50 50 so either way is correct and actually if we're out in the countryside like we're saying uh, we are then it's feasible actually that this wouldn't be tarmac it would be way too expensive and way too resource intensive to do it so uh, what you what you would have though is uh, the bit of the road here would all be tarmac and then you'd have all of your signs and stuff that then just take us uh, take us down this way the bridge as i said doesn't have road markings and nor does our entry point uh, and access point here it would just be kept as it is so when we come into the actual entrance area then back to this oh, 
I've forgotten to put barriers in, so they're walking through, <laughs> walking through the fountain. I don't care. It's my birthday, and I want to go out and play. Uh, I'll deal with it tomorrow. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, this entrance is it's made up of lots and lots and lots of tiny little pieces. The plaster stuff from the theme makers toolkit is definitely, definitely my friend in this aspect. Like, I love it. I love the plaster stuff. It's just saved my life so many times. Like, this arch is all of the plaster stuff as opposed to using the in-game ones. Um, and then, of course, this is all plaster all along here with hydro beams and stuff. And it just looks the part. Like, yes. Uh, all of this trim work and stuff is, is actually in-game stuff. So this is the uh, Roman set that came with i don't remember what set it came with um what dlc it came with but yeah it just finishes it up nicely uh it's a little bit inspired actually by the raygate lake um the raygate lake entrance area that i did but a better version this is everything i wish raygate lakes entrance was um yeah so and i put this extra i put this extra um entrance exit way in it feels like it needed that it feels like a, a bit of a what they call a velocity entrance so if you've got massive massive crowds then you can just open an extra gate and take it through and then of course you've got the ticket offices here i don't want these to be any more than this by the way i don't want to decorate too much inside because firstly they wouldn't have been and secondly this entrance probably won't last long which is horrible i've spent so long building an entrance that won't last and i'll talk about that in a moment but what i have done is lots of different ticket uh, areas down this way down this way down this way so down this way and down this way now that means that you've got uh, lots of opportunities to open up extra ticket windows and stuff if you have a uh, have a busy day then of course i've done the coffee and the um donut place this side and on the top here i have just put the rm royal mile and then 1955 which was quite a common thing to do on the top of buildings to like to tell you when the building was built or when it was established or whatever and then this way uh, i have just made this like an open plaza i've put in a couple of um, benches and then i've just put in some stairs to make this ramp feel a bit more natural i didn't want stairs the entire way down i actually wanted this to be a little bit steeper and then it goes into uh, goes into the ramp so that's what i've done there i quite like it actually didn't talk about this to start with i put in a carousel um it doesn't need a cover they wouldn't have had a cover in the uk we don't do carousel covers and stuff uh, as such so i've just left it open put in the queue line and stuff and this is now sitting uh, sitting pretty and then in the background of course we've got the cafe i was i was gonna do a refit on the inside um but actually it's still kind of fit for purpose it's still modern enough to do it but it probably is starting to get to the point of having a touch up and i was like actually do i just redo the building you know like the roof is a bit outdated now but actually no it's just about okay the park probably would have left it but it would be on a redevelopment list it's on a kill list uh, in some capacity and then i have also just tidied up all of the park boundary along here so this is a different park boundary it's originally came around this way so this is now a different park boundary and it's all sorted uh yeah and then um this road then leads up to uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> the graveyard in the background. Uh, it leads up to our maintenance area. I don't want this to be any more than this. I could have spent hours doing this maintenance area and making it correct for 1955. This is as correct as it needs to be. Gravel down on, on mud. Bit of a dumping ground for the stuff. There's no safety measures in here for the gas and propane. It's just so perfectly imperfect it's great like i like this as it is um of course it's going to expand over time it's going to have new warehouses it's going to have all sorts eventually it's going to have like offices for the staff and all of that sort of stuff will come in here but for now it is uh, it is what it is so let's talk about the future because this i don't think is going to be the the final resting place and the living place for all of the uh of the entrance for all time right so what I'm thinking is actually now that we've expanded into this field, this might actually be the future location of the entrance and the car park would move again. Um, so, yeah, this is what I'm thinking. The entrance might go here and then uh, this becomes the back end of the park. Um, so you wouldn't need the... Uh, you wouldn't need the buses anymore so this would be the the access road coming through here so you gain a little bit of space along here a little bit of space along here and then comes down this way and you have this area then to develop now i will if comment below with what you think i'm thinking and i will tell you if you're right or wrong but just look at shapes of buildings as to what this area could be 
in the future. Hmm. Perfectly cryptic. <laughs> <laughs> so guys one last look at the uh look at the entrance as we come down here look at it i'm so chuffed with it i'm so 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 chuffed uh guys thank you for getting to the end of this one um if i remember let me do this and come back up here i if i remember i'm going to put in a uh, a before and after so you can see how, just how much has changed uh because i think you'll be quite pleasantly surprised uh, but as i said guys thank you for getting to the end of the video i really do appreciate it if you have liked it leave a comment below in fact leave a comment below anyway it's my birthday and i'm going out to play so uh that's what i'm doing uh, <laughs> have a good week everybody i'll see you soon take care bye